All right. Devin Haney says he will beat Vasil Lomachenko. Bob Arum says no fight for Devin Haney till he's till, because it would be a mismatch. But Bob Arum says maybe they'll move Lomachenko down to 126 pounds. A two-weight division weight drop. Let's talk about that in this video. All right, welcome back to the channel, subscribers. If you are not subscribed, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. Um, man, much love to everybody in the Patreon, supports of Patreon. Thank you to everybody that supports in the live streams. You guys make this, this channel go, and you're much, much appreciated. All right, man, let's talk about, there's an article that came out of Eastside Boxing I want to talk about. Um, shout out to Brad Thompson. It's an article he put out yesterday. Uh, Aram rules out Devin Haney for Vasily Lomachenko for any time for any time soon. Devin Haney, Vasily Lomachenko just got done fighting Luke Campbell. You know, world beater Luke Campbell. Uh, before that, he got done fighting Anthony Million Dollar Corolla. You know, Million Dollar Corolla, the guy that he put that fought Vasily Lomachenko like this and let him punch him. Just let him punch on him until he knocked him out. But Bob Arum says that they're not interested in a fight between Devin Haney and Vasily Lomachenko because it would just be, a, I think, what, what was the phrase he used? He used the word, um, no. He said, no, Devin Haney is a good fighter, but he is completely inexperienced at this time. He needs to earn his way up by beating some quality lightweights in order not to make a farce of it when he fights Lomachenko. His next fight, the big fight, will be against IBF title uh, winner, the winner of Comey versus Lopez. Let me ask you a question, man. Who is Tiafimo Lopez if he beats one, if he beats Richard Comey for a belt? That's one guy on his resume, Richard, Richard Comey. Other than that, who is he who is he fought, fought? But that's not the important thing. What Bob Aram then says is he would consider a move down. Listen to this. That is a competitive talking about Lomachenko to move down to 130 after he wins the IBF title in early 2020. It should be if. But this is a competitive fight as we can make for Lomachenko. At the particular point, we're looking around to see if there are any other lightweights left to make good fights with him. But and if there isn't, we'll go back down to 130 and fight guys like Brichelt, Valdez and fighting uh, and the fighting Marine, Jamel Herring, Floyd's kid, Davis, and maybe Farmer, although I don't think Farmer would. But again, maybe Farmer. And if necessary, we'll go back down to 126 for a big fight for him, which would be a lot more competitive than Devin Haney is Shakur Stevenson, who I think in those weight cars is the best town in the world. Do you hear this? Bob Arum, <laughs> you can't make this, you can't make this skullduggery up. Bob Arum is okay with a Teofimo Lopez fight against Richard Comey, but not Devin Haney. But he's willing to move, to consider moving Vasily Lomachenko all the way down to 126 to fight Shakur Stevenson. Who has Shakur Stevenson fought? Gary Russell Jr. is down there. If you're going to move down to 126, why wouldn't you say Gary Russell Jr.? What sense does this make? And on top of that, just look at this. This is your this is this is the greatest fighter since Young Ali that we're talking about here. This is the pound for pound number one fighter in the world we're talking about here, right? According to Bob Aaron. That's who Vasily Lomachenko is. A generational talent. One of the best fighters to ever walk into a ring. And if he can't find somebody to fight at 135, he's moving down in weight. Not up in weight. Not up five pounds to fight somebody at 140, but to move down. To move down nine pounds to 126 to fight an inexperienced Devin, uh, inexperienced Shakur Stevens. Now, watch this, though. 
because I said this on my chat before. Lomachenko, people keep asking this. I think Eddie Hearn said it. Some other people said it. You know, who's going to beat? Who's going to beat Vasily Lomachenko? It's going to be a top ranked fighter. That's who who's going to beat. That's who's going to beat Lomachenko. It's going to be a top ranked fighter. Devin Haney, the only reason that Devin Haney ain't on this list is Devin Haney's not signed with Bob Arum. Period. And Devin Haney has the type of style that is prob that will be problems for Vasily Lomachenko. If you've noticed that there's there's one type of fighter they've never put Vasily Lomachenko in with. They've never put him in with somebody that has a who has extreme foot speed on the outside. Somebody that can get out and around and move and keep him at keep him at arm's length with very little difficulty. Somebody like if you watch Terrence Crawford fight, you watch Terrence Crawford's fight against Jeff Horn or Terrence Crawford's fight against um, Garyokas Gamboa or any of them. You notice that Terrence Crawford has the foot speed on the outside to stay just get can, to get completely out of range and stay out of range whenever he feels like it. He is, doesn't have to stay right there and is too fast for somebody just to walk it, most people to just walk him down. Now, that's the type of style that you have in both Devin Haney, that type of athleticism in Devin Haney, and I believe you also have that type of athleticism and length in Shakur Stevenson. Shakur Stevenson, I do believe, will eventually be up there lightweight, um, He's at 126 now, but I think he'll eventually be up there lightweight. But that's the type of situation that Lomachenko is going to run into. And if he moves down to move down in weight, I, I don't see how you can consider somebody. If he did that, he should immediately be taken cons from consideration of being a pound for pound, the pound for pound guy. Who does that? Did Floyd Mayweather Jr. move back down in weight? Said, oh, you know, I got to 135. Yeah, I got, you know, I won the 147 pound title. You know, not sure what I can do now. Let me go back down to 130. No. Now you did have Roy Jones Jr. dip up for one fight up to one to up to heavyweight and and go back down. That didn't turn out very well for him because Lou get putting on weight and losing weight like that, it cuts into your athleticism, especially when you get to be an older fighter. But you know, you just don't do that. Most people don't do that. That's not something that you would that I would say is 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 a path of somebody that is really being considered, you know, you know, the best fighter in the world where you get to 135 and because you clear out 135, which, in my opinion, with the exception of Devin Haney is a weak division that you're going to go back down and look for Miguel Burchelt. You're going to look for smaller guys. You're not going to look for Josh Taylor. You're not going to look for Jose Ramirez. There's a top ranked fighter up there for you. Jose Ramirez or Jose Ramirez is the WBC champ, 140 pound champion. What's wrong with Lomachenko? Jose Ramirez. That's just five more pounds. Come on, man. This is the best guy. This is the best fighter since Ali. That shouldn't be an issue at all. That should be second. That should just be, you know, that's what we're doing. Once we get done beating, once we collect all these belts, we're moving up. We're going to be a four division champion. You know, we're going to dare to be great. We're going to show that we're better than Harry Greb. We're going to show that we're better than Roberto Duran. We're going to show that we're better than Pernell Whitaker. We're going to demonstrate by continuing to do what they do and what they did instead of trying to go back down and wait because the guys are too big for you. Uh, I'm not, you know, not impressed. But the Devin Haney thing, look, Devin Haney will be, will be problems for Vasil Lomachenko. And when Devin Haney gets to and they're already getting ready obviously they're getting ready to vacate the belts obviously with this move back down they're telling you that when he wins if if Vasily Lomachenko gets the uh, unifies those belts that he's moving back down and wait he's like yeah we did it now we're now we're getting out of dodge we're not gonna let we're not facing Devin Haney Devin Haney needs more experience experience against why does he need more experience what what more he needs to lose against Jorge Linares is that the experience uh, or Yvonne Mendez, that's what he needs to do. He needs to lose to Yvonne M Mendez and he needs to lose to uh, Jorge Linares. Is that is that the type of experience that he needs? That that Luke Campbell, that Luke Campbell type of experience? He needs the Anthony Corrala type of experience. Does he need the type of experience that the Jorge Linares had where he got knocked out two times earlier in his career? 
you know, it, it's, it's not sounding, doesn't sound convincing. Doesn't sound convincing. What it sounds like to me is that Bob Arum knows that Devin Haney has the size because Devin Haney's going to wind up being a 140 pounder. He's going to wind up being a, and he's got the style to cause Vasily Loma, Lomachenko a lot of problems. If Teofimo Lopez winds up winning, uh, winning, beating Richard Comey, which I don't see. Now, one thing I will definitely say about Vasily Lomachenko, Vasily Lomachenko can call some fights. I don't know if this dude missing. I don't know if Vasily Lomachenko missing the out calling a fight. That dude needs to be, that dude needs to be a, a bookie or something. And laid odds down, but, but he said he thinks he really loved to fight Teofimo Lopez, but he doesn't think Teofimo Lopez is going to get out the, is going to get out of it against uh, against Richard Comey. So, you know, anyway, you know, we'll see what goes on. I don't think that this is, you know, that's not pound for pound great status. Now, there are some people that can argue that there was fighters in the past that moved up and moved back down but who held multiple multiple belts at the same time. I do believe that was a case with Henry Armstrong. I think that he might have held the lightweight. He might have owned the featherweight, the lightweight, and the welterweight title all at the same time, or the lightweight and the welterweight title at the same time, and he went back and forth between, between defending them, but he held them both at the same time. I don't know if his weight really needed to fluctuate if he was going up and down in weight, but those are questions for the boxing historians. Let me know what you think in the comment section. And with that, I'm out. Peace.